Well, here I am again, folks. Um, a few weeks ago, I did my ancestry test, DNA test, that is. I came back 96% African, mostly from Benin, Togo, blah, blah, blah. Uh, somebody made a little remark about I didn't post the results, so of course that means that I lied about it. Now, it's kind of funny that they would think I'd lie about it, but I'll explain that in a second. So, here you have it. I posted it on the screen. Those are my results. I am who I say I am. I'm 96% African, 3% Jewish, and sort of 1% Irish. Like I said, I do not have to lie about that. Okay, that being said, uh, back in what, 87 or 88, Spike Lee did a movie, School Days, and it basically talked about how um, black folks like to pretend they're so proud of being black, but yet there's a thing sometimes where we, we play hierarchy games according to skin tone. And in front of white folks, we might say we don't like doing that, but we do. We're not the only one who do it, because Hispanics do it in their own way. In the Desi or Indian community, they really do it. But we're the ones going around yelling, say it loud, I'm black and I'm proud. So to me, that reeks of hypocrisy. Lots of hypocrisy. Um, I have a friend of mine that, um, well, I, not, I'm not going to say I have a friend. I have friends that always let me know about situations where race plays a part, where we're getting the short end of the stick or somebody made a remark or whatever. But yet, these same friends sometimes will make little remarks themselves where you know there's a hierarchy between dark and light. I mean, it's what we do. And remember, I'm 96% African. Therefore, I'm one of the darker brothers. I'm the darkest guy in my family. Um, usually when I'm hanging with a bunch of guys, I tend to be the darkest of the group. I'm usually the darkest of most of my friends. Now, I remember a while back when my friends talked about uh, Kamora Lee Simmons when she was hooked up with uh, that actor from Africa. What's his name? Damon Hansu. He's from uh, Benin in Africa, which is one of the countries that I'm descended from. And I remember her attitude was like, man, that's one of the more girls that she likes dark skinned guys. You can't change her mind. That's, that's all she wants. And that's so funny that a black person would say that about another black person because we often comment about whites who say things like that. But I guess it's supposed to be different if it's a black person. I can't see it that way. Almost every slight that I have dealt with, whether it's familial, fraternal, social, when I really look back down in it, it has something to do with dark skin. And we don't like to talk about that. If I bring it up, somebody's going to say, oh man, we ain't even going to talk about that. And nobody wants to talk about it. But if a white person does something, oh, we're quick to talk about it. So it's so funny when I see all these comments on Ancestry, when people are talking about that, whether somebody's descended from Africa or what, and when there's just a little bit of um, European descent, that's supposed to be so cool because the rapists and the invaders didn't get to your family so much. And that's supposed to be a good thing. Yet, we put people in a hierarchy, a high hierarchy, if the rapists and the invaders are in their bloodline a little bit more. So why, why that hypocrisy? I'd like to see the discussion here. 
I know I've gone through it, and I know other guys have gone through it. The funny thing, black women talk about it a whole lot, about being treated different for being, you know, dark. But, I mean, when I really look back at it, some of the worst treatment I've gotten have been from darker skinned sisters. So how do you explain that? And don't give me some nonsense about I must have did something. No, they did it. And they did it because I was a dark skinned brother. That was it, plain and simple. And it's funny, I always known that, you know, there's some girls that just like dark brothers. And I can remember one back when I was in college that uh, had given me a little bit of attention. She was kind of, I'm not going to go into details, but she had a little status. She had friends around her all the time. Now, I noticed if she was with her friends, she never spoke to me. But anytime that me and her would be somewhere by ourselves, whether it's in the library or somewhere around the dorm, she was the friendliest person in the world. She couldn't be friendly like that among her peers. And I know it was a status thing. Now, had I been an athlete, had I been Greek, well, fraternally that is, because I wasn't Greek at the time, she, I know it would have been different. I know for sure it would have been different, but I didn't have status. She couldn't talk to me. So it just, it's the hypocrisy about this. Is it bad to be more African? Or is it bad to be more European? Because when I see all these uh, comments on here among black folks, it's supposed to be bad to be more European, but yet the way you treat people who are less European speaks volumes. It speaks, it says it all. And before somebody comes saying that I, I hate myself for being a dark-skinned brother, no. To the contrary, I think a hell of a lot of myself, which is why there's certain things that have ticked me off over the years.